My friends, I am once again coming to you to ask for your attention. I think this may be the most important video I've made. I think it's potentially above even the Irma Gerd, this tank is going to destroy the game videos. The ones where we knew that the game would be destroyed and soon after it was only to be rebuilt again like a phoenix from the ashes. This tank is like the phoenix rising from the ashes. This is an important video because, well, let's do a little history first. I think everyone knows my opinion of the T-22. There was a mode called Rampage, which was the pinnacle of gameplay in World of Tanks. Only the best, the brightest, the top tier players played Rampage. And it was known that if you could manage to get through the hardest missions known to World of Tanks, then you would be able to grab the T-22 from the stone, pull it forth like Excalibur, and dominate the pubbies. And so, a cohort marched forth and grabbed the T-22 for themselves probably one of the greatest displays of gaming, one of the greatest displays of sportsmanship. It was absolutely amazing. And if you missed it, you missed greatness. You missed greatness. For the rest of us, we were left to ponder how we were gonna get on with our lives after Rampage Mode was shut down. Because there's only a certain amount of fantastical, amazing T-22s to be given out. There are only so many great players in the game, and they had already grabbed all of them. Already grabbed. And if you were one of the lucky ones to have been in a game with them, then you saw, you saw the pinnacle of gaming history in action at that point. And you'll know what I'm talking about. You saw it. I saw, we all saw it. Absolutely amazing. But... If you were like me, unable to attain such greatness, even though I aspire to such, I often fall short, too often fall short, and I did not have a T-22. I did not, and I know a lot of you didn't either. But Wargaming, five, six years down the road, decided to make it available. And once I got my hand on it, hands on it, I decided to play it in a manner which it deserved in the manner with which it deserved because of the greatness of the players that acquired it during rampage mode i knew that i had to live up to that greatness it was going to be difficult but i think maybe there's a glimmer i'm not telling you i'm there i am not telling you i'm there but i'm i might be close or maybe perhaps this is just a crack i can see a little bit of light in the crack of the door and I may have to eventually kick that door down, but we'll see what happens. We're going to show you the game that I'm talking about right here. But first, we're going to talk about the loadout, and we're going to talk about how to properly play the T-22. Because while I'm not a 100% expert like those gamers, those fantastic legends of yore who got a hold of the T-22, while I am not quite that good at the moment, maybe I aspire to that someday. I could, I could make it. I don't know. I think I have a little something to offer, perhaps maybe just for you late adopters of the T-22, you, you lesser mortal people like me, on how to actually T-22. So, very important video, you need to pay attention to this because other than the game is destroyed or I'm leaving the game videos, which are extremely important, uh, this may be just second, second best right there, all right? So, you know, I always aspire to be second best. First loser, that's where I want to be. All right, T-22 medium, tier 10, Russian medium hover tank. Look at this beauty. The first thing you need to know about properly playing the T-22 is that you have to have it appropriately decked out in something amazing, like a gingerbread man, a purple hat, and a heart decal on the front with two tanks um, touching guns. You have to have that, something of that, I don't know, all purple, perhaps all pink, maybe uh, just one inscription on the side and nothing else. I, I, I'm gonna let you do that. That's a little bit personal to taste, 
I don't want to try to tell people how to decorate your T22, but we will talk about what, how you need to set it up. You will be needing no equipment. You'll be needing no equipment because that's weight and it weighs the tank down. You will want to start a new crew. The basic reason for starting a new crew is you're going to have a crew that only knows the T22 and loves it and only wants to fight in the T22. So never take your T22 crew out of the tank. They're going to eat, sleep, breathe T22. That is how you make a coherent, amazing team out of a T22 crew. Now, one thing you need to know about T22 is it's nigh impenetrable. Right there, I kind of show you, I give you the little side swipe there. Uh, if you do it right, you can actually ricochet the, the shot back at the enemy. I'm just not quite that good yet. Some of the uh, other players who run T22s can probably do that kind of thing, but I'm practicing. Maybe one day I'm hoping to actually ricochet that. You got to be careful though. One thing to watch out for is if you ricochet it into your buddies and ammo rack them. Like, let's say another T22 is on the other team and he took that shot and I, I tried to ricochet it back at him, but I wasn't quite up to up to doing that, which I'm not, admittedly, but uh, it's a T-22 that shot me and his shot ricocheted off and went into one of my uh, allies' tanks. I think what, you know what's gonna, it's a auto auto ammo rack, right? So we just wanna, don't wanna do that, but be careful uh, around there with that kind of thing. So I'm going to work on my assist and my damage with a pure HD loadout, which I have not mentioned yet. So no equipment, we talked about the crew, eat, live, sleep, dream t20 leave them in the t22 never put them in the barracks never let them go out to dinner or lunch or anything like that they eat mres or i guess ex extra rations uh in their t22 oh but well, that's actually a mistake guys i'm sorry you don't run food ever on a t22 never give them extra rations i forgot that's all other russian tanks but this one you do not give them extra rations you want them to be lean and hungry mean fighting machines if they don't have the eye of the tiger, if they're not completely starving to death, they're not going to get out there and absolutely dominate like you want with a T-22. So no food. Also, do not give them any kind of repair kits or, or uh, hold on, we're going to see what we can do. I see the bounces, that's what I'm talking about. Or medical kits. All right, That makes them soft. It makes them soft. If they have a medical kit, they might be taking chances that they otherwise wouldn't take or they otherwise would take, or whatever I'm trying to say. But the point is, do not let them have any second chances. If they mess up, that's on them, all right? And they're out of the game. So if one of your crew dies, you're just going to have to live with it. And maybe next time they won't be so weak sauce, right? Next time they won't be so weak sauce. If they're properly living, eating, dreaming, the dream of living and eating and dreaming in a T-22, then they won't get hurt, right? That's just, it's science. That's just science. So we're not going to use any repair kits for the same reason. You want to toughen up the tank. The tank itself also needs to be trained not to be such a loser wussy out there. All right, so make sure that you don't carry any kits. Make the crew fix everything. Don't give them any kind of kit. Again, make some, make some tougher. So that's the loadout plus pure HE. I think that's really the key at the end of the day. If you are going to dominate in T-22 in this manner, it's got to be an all HE loadout. That's all you can do. AP, APCR, Heat, whatever the other rounds might be out in the game. It's just not for you. It's not for the T-22. That is not how the T-22 rolls because what we want to do is absolutely track and drop 100 at a time. Do you know how demoralizing it is to be beaten by something 100 hit points at a time? And you can't even hurt it? No. Sometimes... You know, it's RNG, the game lets the other team have a shot. I think that was a case right there of the game was actually uh, rigged, and I took some damage. You notice that I hadn't really taken any before that, but as soon as that guy showed up, the uh, the E100 right there, who I believe is hacking more than likely, more than likely hacking, uh, that's the only reason that I'm going to take any damage from a guy, from someone like that, right? They've gone to uh, Pack War and downloaded something some kind of virus thing, and then probably through packet loss, you know, my packets were lost, and then they shot them over into my into my uh, computer, right? Probably through my cell phone. I don't know. Have you heard of tethering? That's probably the most likely way that you're able to uh, have a packet shot into there in some kind of rigged fashion from uh, someone like that. So just stay away from, you know, E100 drivers like that in your T22 because. Otherwise, you're, you're not going to take any damage except for rigging. Uh, you know, that, I, I don't know how to explain it any better. 
Um, a lot of people don't know that, actually, that it is rigging. The only way to actually damage a T-22 is through rigging and artillery, which, you know, Wargaming just lets artillery be in there to punish the greatest players. The, most of the damage I ever take in this game is from artillery, probably 89.7%. That's not a precise number. It's 89.3 to 92.7, so it's it's really in that. It's kind of a, a region of damage where I take from artillery to the kind of damage I really ever take, other than the hackers that we discussed. So I've been talking about some other things that maybe not quite related to the T-22, but you can see we're up to 1,310 damage, 2,070 bounce, and 1,681 assist, and we've got a kill out there right now, which is a, a pretty good. See, there's the arty I was talking about. It's just arty, arty is for cheaters, and that's what happened. I, it was complete cheating. So we're just, we'll just ignore the T-30 because he's actually not a good enough target for me. Normally, I would go after him if there was uh, so something, if he was the best, but he's not because there's an artillery, so we're going to go out there and try to track him down, and that guy's uh, running over there. And we'll, I'm going to show you the ab absolute just amazing domination of the of the HE round. Watch this. We'll just go ahead and get rid of that one. I mean, I don't know if you've ever rolled a 194, my friends, but that was a 194 with an HE round out of a 42-millimeter uh, uh, high-velocity laser cannon. That's what the T20... Don't Just don't look at what it says in the game right there, because that's not exactly what a T22 has. So there you go, guys. That is how to T22. All right, I gave you the, the secret of the setup. Talked a little bit about the history of the tank. That's important. You need to know that. That when you're driving it, when you were driving a T22, you are, you are carrying history on your shoulders, right? All of those amazing, great, fantastic gamers that went ahead of you, all right? Never lose sight of where you came from is what I'm trying to say, all right? So all of those guys in the past, they're rooting for you. They want you to do well in your T22, so you need to live up to what they're doing. So we talked about that. We talked about the setup. Most important part is HE only. Make sure that's how you've got that thing set up. And then don't weigh it down with any kind of anything else. There's no equipment. The crew doesn't need food. Make them eat, live, sleep, and dream T22. Never let them out of the tank. No equipment, like I said. No consumables. That makes them weak. And start off with zero skills. So all of these guys ever know is the greatness of the T22. So I, I want to thank you guys for coming by because I think on a day like today, it's the perfect day to let everybody know exactly how you T22. Because I don't want people going out there in this thing and doing it wrong. Right? It would destroy the game. Okay? It would destroy the game. And probably tomorrow the servers would shut down. And that I, nobody wants that on April 2nd for the servers to shut down because you're not playing your T22 right. So get on board. Figure it out. If you can't do it right, don't play it at all. All right? Go down to, go play your MS1 or whatever you've got in the garage. Do that instead of play your T22 wrong. All right? So, again, thank you for coming by. Thanks for the support of the channel. And we'll see you tomorrow for another extremely important video. Every video of every day is the most important video, so be there. All right? I mean, I hate to get so serious... I try to keep it light on the channel. I, I don't, you know, I don't want to get so serious sometimes, but if you really, if you're not doing the T22 right, what are you doing? All right, we'll see you guys later.